Bungie just not too long ago released a state of the game slash a roadmap for Lightfall, I guess. Okay, this is more of a roadmap behind the scenes what they plan on doing. Okay, so these are the four main things that they do want to try to bring. They want to try to bring back challenge to Destiny. I guess that's something people have been asking for. Me personally, I'm not the best at the video games, so it might already be a bit of a challenge for me, Bungie. Think of me. But anyway, moving on. Enrich our content because you know, more content, basically, more content, better quality content, whatnot, and connect our guardians. We got cross save and cross play, so that's pretty cool already. We'll see what they want to do in the future, but those are their four big goals for 2023. Okay, so Season of Defiance. We actually... That's the next big season, apparently. Season of Defiance. Lightfall will launch alongside Season of Defiance. And while most of its content is wrapped up before this new goal was put into place, we still have numerous seasonal quality of life changes, along with substantial iteration to our current model coming to shake things up, starting with redu um, reducing complexity with our progression system. This means fewer competing currencies to earn. Okay, see, that's good, that's good, okay. Okay, so they are actually doing away with umbrellas and umbrella energies. <clears throat> So that's actually very interesting. If you want to focus and engram into a particular seasonal weapon or armor, all you'll need is glimmer and a seasonal engram. Additionally, seasonal engrams will be stored and tracked on seasonal vendors. So managing the engrams bucket in your character's inventory will be much easier than it is today. We also won't be asking you to hold large stacks of seasonal currency to unlock a chest at the end of every seasonal activity. Instead, we will be dropping singular keys throughout your playtime that allow you to extract better rewards from the chest at the end of the seasonal activity. Okay, singular keys throughout the playtime. What does that mean? Does that mean that they drop from enemies or it timed you get after a certain time? I don't know. I guess we'll see. But so far, that seemed pretty cool. It will create a simpler relationship where you know that if you have even one key you're getting better rewards. Now what kind of better rewards are we talking about? Because I'm pretty game for this. I it also represents um the repositioning of the chests as true bonuses, not requirements. Unlike today's seasonal currencies, keys won't drop every time you complete an activity. To compensate for this change, we've made the base rewards for each seasonal activity completion better. So when you earn and spend a key, it's a meaningful bonus, not a requirement to engage in the seasonal playlist. Finally, by default, keys hand drop from some seasonal activities, which means you are no longer required to play content outside of 
the seasonal playlist to chase seasonal rewards. On top of that, the changes in Season of Defiance, players can expect fewer, fewer total vendor upgrades with each individual upgrade being more um, potent and some upgrades even offering a variance on the way you in, variance on the way you interact with the seasonal activity in season of defiance we've also taken a big step at the way we name our various progression systems and currencies we want any players to read the name of something and immediately understand the way it does and so to spend more time playing and less time trying to understand what you're supposed to do. Weapon crafting. You're going to want a killer set of weapons for the changes. This year, we're going to change how you think about obtaining those weapons with the major update to weapon crafting. While we love having some sources, um, let's see, we found that the route to getting the weapons you want to craft can be too random. At the same time, we also believe that weapon crafting being a part of so many of our weapon chase had diminished the joy of simply getting a great perk role at the drop. So here's how you can expect them to change with life art. Remember this will not be changed at launch, but to create independent chases for both crafted and non-crafted weapons, starting with Lightfall, fewer of our total weapons will be craftable and more of our weapons will with long term sources will get value from random perk rolls. Okay, so wait. Are they saying fewer weapons will be craftable? That's interesting. I thought they were going the opposite way, honestly. I thought they were going to eventually make all the weapons craftable. So that's interesting that they changed it. They want to allow, they want to allow non-crafted weapons to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with crafted weapons in Lightfall. In the year of Lightfall, more and more of our non-crafted weapons, starting with new raid adepts this year, will have the ability to be enhanced. Enhancing allows your dropped weapon to start leveling up, use mementos, and gain access to both enhanced perks and enhanced transitic perks but only the enhanced versions of the perks and masterworks that are already on the version of the weapon you are enhancing. Simply said, with some time and resource enhancing allows you to take the random rolled weapon you've obtained and enhance its existing role to match feature the feature power of a crafty weapon. Okay, so basically it will allow you to kind of buff up the rolled weapon to make a better version, kind of like a hybrid crafting, not quite crafted, but not quite, you know, random vanilla type thing. Finally, we want to tackle one more thing out of game to help with our goal of expanding the player imagination and that's giving our players a little more of a sneak peek into the release before they hit the server so while some of our releases this year will be kept secret until they hit um, the machines others like season of the deep will um we'll preview 
and share details. Wait, wait, Season of the Deep. Okay, Season of Defiance is the next season. Is Season of the Deep the season after? But yeah, I suppose that's the biggest thing for now. They do go on to mention a bit about building crafting updates and stuff. Um, build crafting, we believe great builds will be much more accessible to the community and while we still want your gear and your mod to be critical some of the buff guardians and survivability were just a bit too strong in the old system so we've taken this opportunity for a balancing patch to gear driven buffs oh a balancing Patch. So that means um, gear given buffs are kind of going to get a nerf, probably. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. I'll leave a link to this in the description below if you want to check it out. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.